so in this last video, I'm going to show how we can create a new entity and also feed Lewis a whole bunch more, uh, more examples so we can increase its confidence to be able to accurately predict and, and derive, key piece, derive key pieces of information like entities. Um, so the new entity that we're going to create is song name. There are other types of entities, but we're going to stick to simple. If you get into more complex um, entity types like hierarchies and, and lists, um, those options are there as well. Okay, so you can see our entity is there, but it's not linked to any labeled utterances. So to link our entity, we'll go into Intense. Uh, we'll dive into Play Music. And we'll give it an example. So like Play Hotline Bling by Drake. So while it's been able to identify the artist Drake, it hasn't been able to identify the song. So we can fix that by marking up uh, the utterance by clicking on the multi-word. So with two clicks and then select song name as the label. So if we update our model by clicking on train, once it's trained, the test button should come back. So we can pop that open, type in the same utterance. And notice that the results has correctly predicted the intent of play music as well as the entities. Um, now, while we've uh, updated our model, the published version is actually still one step behind. So while we've done the training, we need to also go back and now publish our, our newly trained application. So we'll override our production version. If we grab our endpoint, play a line bling by drink. So go play hotline bling. I've mistyped it by drink, so we'll do that again. Okay, so play hotline bling by Drake. The intent is correct. Uh, we have two entities being the song as well as the artist. Now, if we go back to Lewis, uh, we go back into our play music intent. If we try another uh, utterance, like play humble by Kendrick Lamar. It still hasn't uh, gotten the pattern right yet. So while it's picked up, even the uh, artist, it, it seems to be having some issues with artists with um, more than one word. So we can fix that. Um, now, obviously, we don't want to provide every single possible example. That's not the intent. Um, the The idea here is that we just need to feed Lewis with enough examples that eventually, through the machine learning, uh, it will establish patterns and start to become a lot more accurate at... Um, deriving our uh, intents and entities. So we'll fix up this one example. Okay, we can train our model. So this starts to tie into active learning. Um, so the, with active learning with Lewis, um, you have this review endpoint utterances. So any hits onto the HTTP endpoint um, that haven't been, uh, I guess, properly aligned uh, to an intent and the entities haven't been derived um, with 100% with accuracy are here and is, is available for us to manually mark up and fix and then improve improve the model. So we'll delete this first one because that's a we don't want that intent or to learn off the mistaken intent. But you can see here the first hit that we hit did of the, um, the URL, the Billie Jean one. So we've got that option here. I'm sorry, Billie Jean. Okay, we add. Now we're gonna to wanna to add a, a lot more. So to, to do this a lot more efficiently, uh, we're gonna programmatically hit the endpoint using Python. So since we have our app ID um, and our key, we'll use that within our Python code. So we'll jump to uh, visual, VS Code. I'm gonna create a virtual environment. So all that you'll need in your virtual environment, if I'm using Python 3, uh, is the request library. So we'll do pip 
I will activate our environment. Pip install requests. Okay. We'll create a new file called Lewis. So the code I'll get off the blog. So I've got the Python code. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see here that the only two things that we need to change is assuming that you've also deployed to West US, the endpoint will, will remain the same, um, is your app ID and your key. Okay, so we'll just save that. We'll grab our app ID so you can get that from um, settings. And your key will be in your publish screen which we ultimately retrieved from the Azure portal when we created the Lewis resource. Okay, so what's this code going to do? So, um, to get some sample data, we're going to make a HTTP request initially to Shazam. Um, we're going to pull the top 100 popular songs um, from Shazam. Uh, that, that results is going to come back in the JSON format we're then going to loop through each of the songs or a sample of those 100 songs and submit them to Lewis. Um, we'll print out the results or the interim results um, in the console, but we're going to do this in two passes. So the first pass is really just to provide Lewis a sample of 25 um, utterances. We'll go back, review those endpoints, correct the entity labels, and then we'll come back to our um, Python code and then give it an, a different sample of that 100, so songs 26 to 50. And we should notice there is a significant um, increase in the accuracy of, of um, Lewis's ability to predict the intent and the entities. So, Okay, so we've got our min and max set to 0 and 25. So we can just run our code. Actually... Okay, so you can see the utterance that's been constructed from the Shazam data. And while it will be correctly predicting the intent, because all of these are, have the intent of play music, um, in some instances it will get the artist right, in others it might get the artist slightly wrong, um, because it might be uh, featuring multiple artists. Um, so the, the aim of the game here is that we're just we want to provide Lewis a sample. So there's 25 hits. If we go back to our application, under the review endpoint utterances, this is the active learning aspect of, of Lewis. So you can see all those hits have popped up. So we're going to manually go through and um, fix up the entities. Okay, so that should be all the, the 25. Um, so we'll just toggle, make sure that we don't have any more that we need to update. Yep. So we programmatically hit the endpoint using Python. Um, we provided 25 examples, which we've manually reviewed in the review endpoint utterances section of the Lewis app. Um, so now if we go back to our Python code, shift the sample to start at 26 and finish at 50 if we watch oh sorry before we do that we need to make sure that we publish the latest version of the app so we'll republish to our production slot okay so now with 25 additional samples, the app should be a lot uh, more accurate in terms of predicting uh, the intent. So this is the next batch of 25. So you can see there already that um, it's all now all starting to retrieve uh, song names and artists and even multiple artists where we're featuring. Um, so we'll review these properly in the web-based console, but um, even just the results that are bring. Uh, printed to the terminal, it looks like the accuracy has gotten a lot better. 
And remember, we haven't provided these. Ex this is the first time that Lewis is seeing these examples. So we'll go back to build. Yeah, so you can see here that the its ability to derive songs and even multiple artists when we're kind of featuring someone, um, not perfect. Um, it seems to still be having trouble with the and examples. Um, but by far and large, compared to the first pass, it's gotten a lot more accurate. So we can fix up the minor mistakes. But otherwise that looks pretty good. So that's it. So now with 50 utterances, if we test a random example, I play Hello by Adele. You can see our application's gotten pretty good at deriving songs, um, artists. You know, even if we have uh, play some song by some artists featuring someone else. Some song, some artist, someone else. So it's getting really good at understanding the human language when we're talking in the context of playing a song and, and pulling out those entities. That's it.